Hey guys, Andrew here. I'm going to talk about what making an investment in advanced estimating software will do for your business and how much money and time you can save and how many more jobs you can win just due to using better systems. Let's have a look. Okay, so a distinct difference, you're thinking, okay, we're looking at 3D software here at the moment. Well, actually, when we're looking at an estimate on an actual live 3D model, and that's a, a huge difference and something to, you know, wrap your head around because it, it's, it's different to what every other professional estimating package in the world does. And we can show clients what we're going to deliver for their money. And more importantly, we can understand what we're going to deliver for their money. Now, if we went in here and had a bit of a look and we sort of decided we were going to change a, a, a tap or a, a cooktop or an oven, as I'm doing this, it's actually updating the estimate. So let's go back and have a bit of a look. So I've gone back to the front here and say, for instance, the client decided they wanted to change the roof. If I click on the roof, go to roof and edit the roof, I can change the type of tile. Before I do that, I'll do an estimate. Let's have a quick look. So it's generating a takeoff at the moment. In that takeoff, it's going to give a detailed breakdown of everything inside of the model. And you'll notice that I have a price up here at the moment of $165,000. And if I actually looked at the roofing and went down to my roof, you'll notice that we have a corrugated iron roof. I'm going to actually not close that down. I'm going to leave it so we can have a look at it in a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that roof. I'm going to change it to say a, a tile roof. So edit roof. And we'll just change it from a metal roof to a concrete tile roof and we'll go submit. Now what it's done is it's actually done a live change. It changed the colors and we can change the colors down here and so on. But what did it do to the estimate? Well, let's have a look. Give it a second to, to update. And what it's done, because we made a live change, it actually made a live price change as well as updated my purchase orders and cost codes and everything else that's associated with the project. So let's have a look at roof. Go down to roof again, bring this one up. And you'll notice that I now have uh, Bristol roof tile designer limestone. And you can see that I have very similar quantities. In fact, I have exactly the same quantities, but I actually have a change in material visually for the client to understand, but I also have a change in the product and I also have a change in the suppliers and the cost codes and everything else that's associated with that particular item. The same would happen if I changed a door or, or a tap or anything like that. Anything that is changed in the live model can basically be changed uh, instantly in front of the client and therefore you can get instant price uh, updates to the clients without having to go and delete one and uh, and remove it. Sorry, so edit door here yeah, and we'll just change it to say, I don't know, a glass door or something like that, something strange. I'm not going to use a garage door. I'm going to use an external door, but I'm going to use, say, a sliding door or an opening door. And you'll notice it changed that. Not only did it change it visually to look at, I can actually show the client what differences it made and how we interact with this door to actually have a look through the house. We can continue to go through the house and see different things. So it's an interactive change and therefore we have one central source of truth. So for instance, if the first house with the garage door and the metal roof uh, was Mr. and Mrs. Smith, we would have a price for Mr. and Mrs. Smith. However, we would save that as a template and then when we get to Mr. and Mrs. Jones, we might want to change things around or you know, even get right into detail and we'll find issues as we do this. So let's have a look at say our roof off and we might go into say the butler's pantry in here we might put a window in the butler's pantry. And it seems uh, innocent enough, let's do that. Let's go add window and we will say, make our window height 1.5 meters and the, the height of the window will make it 500 millimeters. Okay, I'm gonna go submit. I'm just gonna add this window in, I'll move this over. I'm gonna add this window in here. And I think what this is going to demonstrate is when you're making changes in a live model, what is the outcome when you actually look at it in a structural mode? So adding that simple window in there seemed innocent enough. However, we have a load bearing truncated girder truss over here, which meant that not only is it the cost of the window, it's actually the upgrading of engineering to hold this up. So let's have a look. 
Right, now you can see that we have that. We also had a downpipe that goes through the middle of the window. All these things aren't considered when salespeople decide, yeah, yeah, we'll put a window in there and we'll charge an extra $500. That's not correct. Basically understanding what changes to the model mean for the client, but also what they mean for the build, the building itself, the structural integrity of that building, and more importantly, your wallet or your bottom line. So to become more profitable, it's better to have an interactive estimating tool in your business that you can utilize uh, to create purchase orders, to create client quotes, to deliver a, a, a detailed quote for a client that can actually be built so that you're not putting out spot fires on, on site and spending more money and time in production. Uh, you can actually get your job delivered more efficiently. And that's what Plus Design Build does, guys. So if you're interested in progressing your business, get a demonstration below. You can get live training uh, in-house for your estimators or your designers. But there's video tutorials built into every single tool because we need to make this easy for you guys to be able to make more profit more efficiently and actually become better builders. All right, guys, all the best. I look forward to talking to you myself or I look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing some of the designs that you're creating and some of the uh, benefits that you're receiving from updating your software to a better solution. Cheers, guys.